Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to read God's Word again, followed by what? Pat's Two Cents. Anyway, okay, 1 Peter chapter 4, starting at verse 12 through 19, the end. Here we are. Anoint this word, Lord, in Jesus' name. Beloved, Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, Happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. But let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? <laughs> Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Yeah, that, that sounds easy. It sounds great. But it's easier to read than it is to do. So, that's why we need to pray. We need to really depend on, oh, sorry, Pat's two cents. Ah, that's why we need to pray. We, we really need to depend on God and call on God and the power of his Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide even on our attitudes. Because you know, excuse me, our attitudes, yeah, can really show their little behinds, can't they? So we have to keep all of that in check. We represent Christ no matter what we go through in life. We represent Christ even before we represent ourselves. We're not our own. We were bought with a price, a great price. So whatever you do, always be mindful of who you represent. Listen, you ever go in a situation where you're dealing with a customer, an ugly customer who's acting ugly, talking ugly, just really being a butthole. And you are on the other end of the phone or the other side of the desk. You representing your company, dealing with your company's business, must zip the lip when the cuss word wants to fly out, must keep your hands where they belong when you want to use your hands as a muzzle to shut their mouth up for good. When you want to use your feet to place it where the sun don't shine, as the colloquialism says. When you want to shove it where the sun don't shine. Yeah. You cannot afford to do that now, can you? You can't afford to give in to your emotions, can you? No. You can't allow your, your thoughts to fly out of your mouth. You must keep that tongue mm -hmm, under lock and key. Why? Because you represent your company. Hmm. How much more important is it to represent your Father which art in heaven? How much more is it to exemplify his love and his peace, his character, his patience, his long-suffering, his kindness, his mercy? 
We're not talking about being a doormat. We're talking about be, being strong enough to maintain your cool. <laughs> it takes skill to hold a live grenade. Real skill to stop it from exploding once it's been once the that what is it that key that's been pulled and it's armed and ready to blow at any second it takes magnificent skill to know how to handle that bad boy so it doesn't explode hmm. it takes a lot of skill to be able to take that pin and ease it back in and defuse that bad boy how much skill do you have in self-control when the enemy is coming at you with everything they've got? The only weapon you need, baby, is J-E-S-U-S. -S. That is the only weapon you need. The Authority that you already have. I don't care how much they stand up over you and try to intimidate you. Remember that inside you carry the authority of Jesus Christ. You carry his authority in you. Oh yes you do. Under your breath you can sit that baby down and shut him up. And put the fear of God in him with the authority that's in you. You are the head, not the tail. He's the tail, not you. And he may be acting like a tail. But you don't have to be afraid when that tail gets to wagging either. So, trust me when I say, babe. Okay? Yeah. You relax. You kick back. You rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. And he shall give you the desires of your heart too. Oh, he'll do that too. So some things may have to be a little rough for a while. But remember who's in the driver's seat. And don't be a backseat driver because God knows how to drive. He knows how to get you there in one piece. Hello. And if he has to ride and run over your enemy on the way. He knows how to do that too. All right, I'm going to stop because I believe there's more to come. You be encouraged in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, not yours.